Well, we've come to a large warehouse store and bought a ton of stuff for the class on Saturday. Get ready. And I'm, I'm filming Sherry loading the truck. <laughs> this is what it takes for a class. Yeah. All of this stuff. Do with this camera. Whoa! I thought I had a camera until I saw some of these. I feel like I'm just standing there. Did that make a good vlog? Thanks for joining me today for another vlog mostly on beekeeping and almost everyday vlog. Appreciate you stopping in and taking a listen and a look at uh, what's going on here at Long Lane Honeybee Farms. Be sure and check us out online at honeybeesonline.com and uh, follow all of our other videos that talk about beekeeping and you can go to our website if you're interested in becoming a beekeeper. We would love to help you get started. Hey, the other day on part one of the video on honey, I offered to give away one of these shirts that I am sporting today uh, from Long Lane Honeybee Farms. Ironically enough, people are getting these shirts uh, that aren't even into beekeeping because I guess there's a lot of people today that collect t-shirts, especially ones that are kind of uh, unique. Uh, and to some people, a shirt like this is very bizarre because it's about you know a beekeeping farm and you don't see a lot of t-shirts like that but look at the back I'm gonna to try to turn around and see if you can see the entire back ready look at that wow it's got uh, an old skip that uh, they used to keep bees in many 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 years ago and then it's got our uh, advertisement of course so if you want one of these t-shirts if you want to be in the drawing a random drawing then what you need to do is go to the video, the vlog that we did. You can, and I don't remember what day it was, but you can look down through there and find it. It's, it's the one we did on Honey, part one. And then below there, if you subscribe or make a comment that you want the t-shirt, then we're just going to take from that video, we're not going to be able to go to, if you leave a comment under another video that you want the t-shirt, you won't be entered into the random drawing because we can't go through and look at all the videos we've made for your comments. So keep all comments under the video, part one of, of Honey, that was a few days ago. But leave a comment that you want the t-shirt. Now some of you have asked uh, if you're from another country, would we still send it to you? We had a comment from, I remember, Austria and Australia. And you know what? If, if I can scrape, if you win, and I can scrape all my quarters together and my nickels and I have enough money to ship it to you and you send me a good mailing address, if you're the winner in another country, I will do everything I can to send it to you, okay? Now, if it costs me $14 million, well, I, I don't have the money to ship it to you. But I, I, I would say the chances are really strong that we'll ship it no matter where you live. So feel free uh, to uh, subscribe and leave a comment that you want the t-shirt. Okay, enough said about that. It's a cool looking t-shirt. And one more comment about the t-shirt. <laughs> it, it was kind of overwhelming the number of you that said you would love to have one. And I guess everybody likes something for free, right? I understand that, I do too. But if you really, really, really want one and you don't win the single t-shirt, then you're gonna have to talk to maybe your wife or your husband or your mom or dad and say, it's only 20 bucks, you know? <laughs> Can I please buy a t-shirt? <laughs> Whatever. You know, one of the things I wanna share with you today, it's neat about beekeeping is, is that we learn a lot about our own lives through beekeeping. And we learn a lot about our own lives through the honeybee. One thing about the honeybee that is so unique and so cool about an insect is that they all hang out together. In a colony, there are 60,000 honeybees, 60,000. The queen lays between 1,000 and 2,000 eggs a day, you know, in the summertime. 
And there's probably anywhere from 200 to maybe 2,000 male bees. Uh, they're called drones. So let me back up. Listen, 60,000 female workers that do all the work, right? <laughs> one queen, just one, that lays 1,000 to 2,000 eggs. And 200 to 2,000 male bees that, you guessed it, don't do anything. All they do is mate with virgin queens and die. And before they do that, they just sit around and eat. And I will not digress on the subject of males doing nothing but eating and other things that males do. I'll leave that to your imagination. But honeybees are unique. And look, how they relate to us is that they are very democratic, very, uh, they, they have a democratic way of working out all of the issues of the hive. And I'm not saying Democrat, Republic. I don't mean it that way, Republican. I just simply mean a very diplomatic way, uh, a democracy, a way by talking to each other through their pheromones and finally deciding on what they should do. And it's really neat that bees can get along. And I would say for the most part, all day long, bees are in there working, they're getting along, and they don't all have the same dads. You know, let's take a queen. Uh, a queen lays a thousand eggs. Well, she's laying eggs that uh, each egg could have a different father up to maybe 20 different fathers um, when she lays eggs, a different progenies or a different source. Oh, there's my phone. I apologize. There's always something ringing or clinging in it. So what I mean is they, they have a lot of uh, stepsisters. So they all have the same mother, but there may be a source of 20 different fathers that are the fathers of all the female bees, the worker bees in the colony, and yet they get along. They get along pretty good. I know that you can tell me, oh, they don't always get along. Sometimes they, this happens, that happens. Occasionally it does. But a whole colony of bees, 60,000 bees working all day long, packing pollen, packing nectar, raising young, uh, fighting pests and diseases, it's, it's pretty cool what honeybees do. And so it might be a good example for us what we should do. Maybe we need to learn to get along. Yeah, that's just a little pep talk on, hey, everybody, let's get along like we're a big colony of honeybees, okay? Let's find a way to get along. I thought it would actually be a neat thing for you to learn the numbers of bees in a colony. Sometimes when I take bees out of houses, they think there's maybe five or ten bees behind a wall. I show them 60,000 bees, honeybees, and they're like, whoa, I never thought there'd be that many bees behind my wall. But there's a lot. Um, listen, I really appreciate uh, the opportunity to share with you each day. We've got some cool stuff coming up. Question and answer, okay? Q&A time on Friday, which means you have to comment below and ask your question, and I will clip it out. I will make a whole video, a whole vlog with your question in there, and I will answer as many as time allows, okay? If you don't answer, if you don't ask a question, I can't answer it, and I'm just gonna sit here tomorrow and talk about, you know, my bobble head. I'm gonna talk about a coffee cup. I'm gonna talk about a, a, a paperweight that has two Bs in it, like, you know, that's cool. And that's, we won't answer any questions. So please, Q&A time on Friday, tomorrow. Ask a few questions. This Saturday, we have a pretty hectic schedule coming up uh, with our class. And so we're going to be taking a lot of footage. Some of you are coming to the class. And so if you're okay with me filming you, let me know. And I'll do some interviews. And that'll give you a whole bunch of footage to share with our folks around the world for the next few days. Or next few weeks or next few months or the next few years okay okay see you later but what's funny is i i've got this real black buckwheat honey let me try to see if it will shine through that oh nothing <laughs>